Here is a quick demo of Smartify nodes. So here I have a scene from Blender Kit. So I'm gonna add a little bit of a, a more natural look with different effects. Uh, basically by default, it's uh, looking a bit CG, a bit, a bit dry, like uh, in nature, you always have more imperfections, uh, dust, dirt, whatever you yeah, need, depending on the context. So here, I'm gonna try uh, a more abandoned look with a moss effect. Right now I'm adding it to one material, but I want to synchronize it on the on the wall environment. So I'm gonna grab a, a sync effect node. So this one in the the E uh, category, and I'm just gonna copy this effect uh, and paste it inside this uh, this new sync effect. I'm gonna quickly rename it uh, Moss. Inside, I can paste my Moss effect. This allows me to copy this effect on uh, different materials, tweak this uh, smart effect on, on all many materials I want. So it might be the entire scene or just uh, a section. So now that it's synced, I can basically tweak the settings. So if I want obviously less moss, I can increase the facing mask. So it will basically happen more on the on the top of the and less on the sides. I can then yeah, change the, the noise. Obviously that's like way too noisy have more in the ambient occlusion and deactivate the only self ambient occlusion. So all the objects will occlude each other's. You can see now that uh, there is some moss appearing in the, in the occluded zones. And I'm gonna change the scale of the moss because it's very noisy at the moment. Reduce the contrast noise and one of the first thing I might want to do is painting the influence. So for example, here I don't want to have moss everywhere on the ground. So I'm gonna simply add a, a color attribute and I'm gonna plug it in the, the paint override mask. So I'm gonna activate it maybe halfway for now. And I'm gonna just paint some vertex color. So Default, I want everything to be set in black, so it will uh, leave the effect uh, as it is. And with the red color, I can erase the effect, and with the green color, I can force the effect. Here, if I want to remove quite a bit of moss around this uh, this area, and maybe some people have, have walked there, so... And I can do the same on any other surface. So here I have a quick favorite in the paint set vertex color. So I can just uh, basically use a paint bucket. And if I still want to have a little bit of effect, I can paint back in, in black so it will Obviously, I need to be in a uh, mix mode, not in additive mode. And if I want to force some some of the effect, I can paint in green. So no matter what, uh, even if the the smart effect isn't supposed to add some moss there, it will force the moss. So I can basically very quickly control all that. And if I want still some individual control between the, uh, first of all, the walls and the ground, I can still make this uh, sync effect separate. So now it's, it's only for this material. So if I want to take the other walls, 
and give them this uh, this other synth effect i can increase the mouse on this one for example i'm just gonna make sure all the all the walls have the same material as the pillars so concrete four concrete four and now on the the pillars and the walls i can basically increase the mass and yeah i can also set them to the black vertex color so they they can be yeah painted on i can control always the vertex color And yeah, I have also a lot of uh, controls over the the mouse shader, the the noise texture. I can change the image texture for the noise, and I can change the mouse shader itself. Uh, for example, I could grab a totally different shader, like a, a snow shader. Yeah, just override the the mouse shader. I can yeah customize anything here. It's all just nodes, so everything is well organized. It's a uh, thing is hidden. And yeah, I can change the textures as well. 